Hi Zara! Happy birthday dear! Look what Papa and Mama have got for you! It's a stingless bee hive! And you know what stingless bee do, right? They produce honey! You will find trees like this in the forest and some of these trees will have cavities in them and the bees will find these trees and make their homes in them. They will go into a, li a little holes they find in the trees and make the cavities a little bigger all the time and they will start they will start growing in the in the cavities of the trees and eventually there will be a whole colony of stingless bee in the tree this is different from the normal honey bees which make their hives outside the trees on the branches of the trees this is the unique thing about stingless bees they usually make their homes in the trees, in the logs of the trees, or in the ground, or sometimes even in between stones, depending on the species of the bees. Species that we rear on this farm are usually those that make their nests in the logs, in the trees, and yours is also one of these. So what happens when there is a clearing of land in the uh, in the jungle uh, the loggers will will um, cut down the trees and we will help save the colony um, and we will take back the colony to the farm and we will keep the colony as long as we can and the colony will make the honey for us once the tree has been cut down it will be cut down to size just like this it is about three feet long and um, we will bring this is what we will bring back to the farm in the tree trunk is the stingless beehive it stays inside here you there is a whole colony of stingless bees in this log you cannot see it from the outside but there is a whole brood of a uh, brood cells in here um, there are many 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 workers all female workers uh, and there is one queen and she will lay her eggs in little little cells and uh, the cell the boot cells are covered by a wall and we call the whole thing a brood chamber as you can see here this is the entrance this is the door to the whole colony inside this is where the bees come in and out Look at them. They're so busy. They're different. They look different, don't they? They look different from the normal bees. These are the stingless bees. And this is the species known as Heterotrigona itama. Itama means black. And as you see, the bees are all black. And, that, and that's the name itama. The, the, that's the door. And that is made of a substance that's called propolis and the main ingredient for the propolis is resin from the trees aren't they clever this is called a topping it's made of wood and it has to be raw wood, untreated wood. This is made by Ayman and he has to be very careful where the joints meet because we don't want any um, pests or predators coming in through here. So it has to be uh, very neat at the joints. The thickness has to be just right for the um, temperature to be just nice for the bees. Uh, the bees like it at 25 degrees Celsius and uh, they can regulate the temperature if it's too hot they will make it cooler by flapping their wings and uh, if it's uh, cooler if it's cool they will make it warmer to make it to just right which is 25 degrees Celsius so there's uh, as you can see there's a hole in the middle of the topping and this will be placed right on top of the log so we we're going to place this topping right at the top here 
and the hole will go right through where the hive is so the bees will come up to the topping right here and start making the honey pots aha that that's the interesting part once the topping has been placed on the log we put a plastic sheet on the topping and we will leave it and after a while when you open up the plastic ta-da see what's inside now those are the structures that the bees make and if you can see there are some pots in there and th those are the pots that hold the honey. Remember the entrance and what it's made of? It's called propolis and this is the same substance. This is also made of propolis and propolis coming from the resin of the trees have lots of good things in it and that is why this honey is so good because it's wrapped in this propolis. Let's see, let's get Let's try and get some honey, okay? Okay, we're going to puncture the honey pot here a little and watch, watch this, watch this. This is the good part. See that? That's the honey. Yum, yum. This is the good stuff. We hope with this video you will learn to love the singless bees and get some insight on how, how they live and how they work and how you can take care of them because they will give you a lot of enjoyment from the honey for many many years to come.